All right, gang, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh video. Um, I'm aware I've not been around for a little while, but today we're going to be talking all things news, rumors, and leaks. Yes, we're going to be jumping on one of those videos. Uh, during the course of last week, unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to jump on and report at the time, but uh, some big Star Wars news has dropped about two sets that are due for release in August. So let's take a look. So the first one we are going to talk about, gang, um, because some images dropped online last night, is that of the Dark Falcon. Now, this is a set that's kind of been rumoured. There was a really cool trailer that was put together uh, a little while ago as well, when we see um, Darth Jar Jar kind of walking off the ship, but we hadn't seen any official imagery of the set itself. But now... We do, we see it here. And this is what the Dark Falcon's gonna look like. It's gonna come with six minifigs, which is absolutely amazing. And they're gonna be very much unique to this set because this is a rebuild the galaxy set i don't know if there's going to be a lot of this but i know they're at least doing this one set with that in mind where basically they're flipping the script and it's going to be an alternate star wars universe and lego have decided to do this i think it's a really cool idea to be honest with you um I was at one of the brick fairs a while ago and there was a guy that had built all different types of uh, Millennium Falcon and it's nice to see Lego kind of leaning into that as well. Now, as you can see, it is just blacked out. It is amazing because this, in this universe, it is obviously um, a Darth Millennium Falcon at the end of the day. Uh, part of the Sith. Um, it does come with six minifigs as I've already said. I can't quite make out all the names because I do have another image which I will now put on the screen for you. Um, you can see some of the names but it's, it is quite quite difficult. But I'm going to go with obviously we're getting Beach Luke, we're getting Jedi Vader which is white, all white um, Darth Vader which I think looks really really cool. We are getting a Bounty Hunter C-3PO Obviously, you can see the one black arm. I quite like that. That's pretty cool. We know we're getting Darth um, Jar Jar, and I'm assuming the one with the with the two um, uh, lightsabers in one. That's Darth Ray. Who is the one on the end? Uh, it says Darth something, but I'm not sure who it is. I'm not a hundred percent sure on what it is. I've tried to look at the other image, but it's just not good enough quality for me to zoom in and see. So we will have to wait and see for that one when a Lego officially releases the news for this set. But this is really cool. This is a really interesting set. I would imagine that this is gonna be around about the 150 pound mark here in the UK, which would be about $180 um, in the US because the last, um, the last Millennium Falcon that was released, um, was around about that money. And if this is gonna be a similar size, it's got a similar amount of minifigs, you can kind of guess that that's probably where we're at. This is due for release on August 1st. There's gonna be a bunch uh, of Star Wars stuff coming out that day. This is gonna be one of them. I think when we get more news, I'll definitely jump on, I'll definitely repeat it, especially when we get some better images. And I thought while we are here discussing Star Wars, we may as well discuss this little piece of news that was dropped. Now, I have got this image via uh, Falcon Brick Studios. It's an Instagram account that I follow. I suggest you will go and not only follow mine, but go and follow Falcon Bricks as well, because we both drop all the best Lego news over on Instagram. Now, I wasn't aware of this one, and it was only when I was scrolling through the other day that I see that Falcon Bricks had reported on it, but we are going to be getting a uh, Star Wars custom droid builder set 75392 we don't really have any official imagery yet but i'm sure in the coming weeks we probably will because obviously um august isn't that far away now which i've got to be honest gang is mind-blowing but this is going to include customizable r2d2s and r2q5 and R r2kt uh, we're going to get chopper and young leia and we're going to get an anniversary minifig so this is leaning in to the 25 years of lego and star wars as well so that's really really cool we're going to get another um minifig there released august 1st and the price is going to be around about a hundred dollars so you're going to be looking at probably about 80 quid here in the uk 1186 pieces it's an interesting one this it really is an interesting one in my opinion it'll be cool to see what it looks like as and when it drops see it's a, it's a strange one isn't it 
with Star Wars, they tend to rinse and repeat. But when we get new, unique stuff like this, this is when it gets me super excited. I absolutely love collecting the Star Wars Lego, and I want more unique sets. And I think with this, and obviously with the uh, Dark Falcon, we are definitely getting that. So there you have it, gang. We are done and dusted for this video. Um, once again, apologies for not being around too much recently. Um, just work, home life, the lot has kind of been very impactful on my YouTube channel. Um, I am also, as you know, in the midst of trying to get something sorted to display my Lego a bit more and store a lot of my Bricklink stuff. So I have had companies in actually, um, you know, measuring up and potentially building something custom. We are going to have to wait and see what happens with it though because everything costs money in this world and money isn't something that's a premium in this household. But anyway, my friends, we are done and dusted for that. If you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop it a like, get involved in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this on a more regular basis, do the smart thing, hit the subscribe button. But anyway, you stay building good people. See you all on the next one.